Welcome back to our fourth and final installment of the Smart Learning Suite Hello Smart presentation, connection, and creation. And we've been talking about how to start our account, how to create different presentations. And now finally, we are gonna get into the most important part, which is actually presenting and delivering the content to our students. Okay, so we've created quite a few uh, presentations before. We created our presentation in our second video. This was just a template of, of showing us how we can do it. We uploaded a pre-made slide in our last video. Today, we are going to actually present it. I'm gonna use maybe my more uh, polished version here that would be ready for our students right away. Okay, so again, as we mentioned in our video earlier, if you have maybe a co-teacher that's working with you, or maybe you have, maybe you work a lot with your coworkers, with your uh, grade level team that you all share each other's slides, maybe it'll be good to share that link with your uh, cooperating teacher, anyone that would need this link. So we would start with that, okay? Now I'm gonna go and hover my, my mouse over. I'm gonna have the option to start or to edit. I'm gonna go to edit just to show you again some of the things that I added in here. Okay, we have our transformation review. We have different slides that we've created, okay? And we have different types of games that we'll, we'll play, some videos we'll watch, um, just some stuff to, if maybe you need to make some final pre-class uh, pre uh, changes, maybe you thought, ah, you know what, I don't want to add that. I want to want to edit something real quick. So we can still go to edit even after we've published it. We're going to go to start now, okay? And I'm going to start my lesson. Very exciting, okay? So this is exactly how it would look. You are currently in the presentation slide. And if we want our students to join in, what we're going to do is we are going to go to the top left corner. And here, if you notice, we have Mr. C's classroom and it has my class ID. I'm gonna click on this and this is what my students will see. Students join Mr. C's classroom and we're gonna to go to hellosmart.com and we're gonna enter the class ID. So actually let's do that as, as if we were a student. So hellosmart.com, let's go right there. Okay, and it will send us directly to the login site. Okay, as soon as we are finished loading, I know the screen can be a little slow. And so students have two options. Students have the option to sign in or join as a guest. Okay, I'm going to highly, highly recommend that you have your students sign in. Reason being is because they're going to be able to access all this material. Okay, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you in a second, we can make this either teacher paste or student paste. If we create it and make it student paste, only students who have an account can go back in, can access it when it's in student paste or after they've disconnected. Okay, so we're gonna highly recommend have the students go to sign in. If we click on that, students have the option again, if I sign in, I'm, I'm signing in through my account, but again, they have the option of either signing in through Gmail or signing in through Microsoft. My students have, or my district has a Gmail, Gmail platform. So I would tell my students, you're gonna create this using your school Gmail account, okay? Once they're in, and I will click it as if I'm going into my student account, uh, I should be able to see uh, there's a choice for me to join in using a code, right? So I'm gonna join my own class, okay? So let's click back here. My code happens to be, my code happens to be 820-287. And we're gonna join it. And there might be a problem with it because I'm joining in using my account. But if we can't do it, yeah, if we're not able to join our own class, uh, we'll, we'll just manage it another way. But you can definitely join in. I can use, in, use either a guest or I can do it myself. Okay, but either way, if we join in, we would see our class right away. And again, let's start over here. The great thing is um, that what I can do is my students, once they have my code, as soon as they log in using their account, they should see my class code. Okay, so maybe if your colleagues use this as well, they'll be able to see, you know, Mr. Candela's classroom. Then they'll see uh, Mrs. Smith's classroom 
or uh, Mr. Uh, Johnson's classroom, right? And they can join in in those different accounts, okay? But let's just pretend that our students logged in. I don't have students currently, but if they didn't know to log in, we're gonna click up here at the top uh, left corner. Okay, and students would be shown here, right? So maybe if I showed up, it would say James is here, right? It'll tell us how many students we have, and um, we're gonna click on, make sure our, our pacing is at teacher. Okay, we don't want it to be student. If it's on student, it means the students can go through it individually. They can do it on their own, but we want it to be teacher, okay? All right. Now, the great part is, uh, let's say I'm going through my lesson and I realize, wait a minute, I didn't include something that I wanted to include. Maybe I wanted to include uh, I said welcome back because we just came back from spring break and I didn't even ask them how their spring break was. So I can start a, another page and I can do a shout it out activity in this case. I'll click on that and I'll ask the students, hey students, you know, what did you do for spring break? Okay. And so students might type up, they might start typing in their answers. This is what I did for spring break. This is, no, this is what I did. I did this, I get to do that, right? We can kind of just start it off with a fun little class discussion. Okay. Now, what I can do after that is I can just keep moving on. I'm gonna to go to my next slide. And there are two ways I can present this. This is my teacher screen, but I can also go on a second device and I can just show these slides moving forward. Okay, so these are some slides that I've created. Uh, this is just information for the students to hear or to see, and we're just gonna click through them. Okay, now I get to a student handout activity. And so my students would log in and they would begin this assignment. What I can do for my teacher dashboard is I can look at the student progress. And of course, again, I don't have students logged in, but if I did, I would see that each, what each student screen looked like. So we would have little tiny boxes where each student is going through their work, okay? So that is one thing that I can do during the lesson to just make sure that all my students are on task. Okay, and of course, we'll just walk through these. It's the exact same thing as any other presentation. The only thing is once we get here, our students are going to work on these assignments. And when I want my students to start, I will click on start. Students will begin and then we will they'll work through it on their own independently. Okay, and maybe I wanna show my students the correct answer so I can show my answers here. So I don't know, a translation is this. With this, I made this into a superhero game and I wanna check my matches and I got it correct. I get to hit the little robot because I am right, okay? All right, now I can also include some game elements. Um, so if a student finishes first, they can hit the little buzzer um, we can do a randomizer or maybe I want to do an activity here. So I'm going to click on, or excuse me, a, a timer here. So maybe my students have been working on this for quite a bit and I want us to finish in the next two minutes. Okay. In the next two minutes, I can also click on end the activity. So in two minutes, exactly. I'm going to tell my students two minutes, our activity is ending and I'll click on that. We'll start the timer and after two minutes, our assessment or our activity will completely finish up. Okay. All right. And of course, if I want to skip through any of these, I definitely can. And I would see any of these student responses down here. Okay. And then finally, let's say that I am going through the lesson, but I'm running out of time and I really want to make sure that my students go through the lesson, uh, even during for homework, I'm going to click on student paste. Okay, this allows for students to walk through these independently. They will walk and work through it, and I will be able to see their progress once it's completed. Okay, so that's another great feature, teacher and student paste. Okay, finally, one last thing is, let's say I, I come back to the top, or maybe my students after my lesson, right, I thought it was really good, but then they say, you know what, Mr. C, I still need help. I don't understand what's happening here. Okay, I can, I, what I can do is, maybe they don't understand this, this specific um, transformation. I can write here on my board. And when I'm writing, my students will see it, right? 
Uh, so maybe I'll say, hey, this is a this is a uh, reflection across the x-axis. My students will see that on their screen as well. Okay, and then finally, maybe I just want to start off with it's my own my own slide to kind of work off of and show my students an example. I can press that plus button, click on whiteboard, and we will insert our own activity here. And it will look just like um, a smart board, smart notebook page because it is a smart notebook page. And if I'm connected to my smart, smart notebook, I can actually draw on my, my screen, okay? And I'm gonna undo everything here, so reset the page. Okay, so that's really just the, the entire overview of creating a presentation. And again, as I said, if what I love to do at the end of my lesson is I want to create, uh, or maybe I wanna create a collaborative workspace or individual activity, I can do that from my lesson. And then at the end, I'll say, hey, I want this to be student paced. Just make sure to complete this for homework tonight. Okay. And once I'm done, I can click up here at the, on the three bars. And I have the option to either edit. Uh, if I want, I can share it. I can make a copy or I just want to end the lesson because my students are done. I'll go to end lesson and I'm back at my home page. All right. So I hope that these four videos have helped you with creating the smart learning suite platform and the hello smart presentation platform i'm so so excited for you to get started and be able to implement these techniques into your classroom thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time